Fashion Trends 2022. All my favorite outfit ideas that are on trend, but wearable at the same time. While I could spend hours watching the fashion shows each season and often do, I think it's fair to say that what we see on the runway isn't always exactly wearable. But I try and take a look at the shows for a heavy dose of inspiration. And then I interpret those trends in a way that will really work for me in my real life. So I thought you might enjoy seeing the ways that I will be styling the fashion trends for spring summer 2022 and how you could interpret them for yourself in a truly wearable kind of fashion. Love them or hate them, baggy jeans are back with a vengeance for spring summer 2022. And I'm personally really enjoying styling the trend. I think the look works particularly well in summer for that low key, laid back, California kind of vibe. And I must admit that I do find these looks pretty easy to put together. On the catwalks, there was an added theme of being really low slung, but I actually don't think that's an absolute must to be able to rock this fashion trend. Simply going a little bit oversized just gives a nod to the look. But let's start with the jeans that I'm wearing, which have gone straight to the top of my favorite jeans list. Now, having wrecked my previous pair of white jeans with an unfortunate blob of toothpaste, long story, I was then on the hunt for a new pair. And I believe I have found the perfect ones. Now, I sized up twice in these to make the fit really super slouchy. And I love how it sits low on my hips. As well as wearing them quite low slung, I can wear them high-waisted too. All I need to do is add a belt and cinch them right the way up to my waist. And that's the benefit of going a little bit bigger. Whereas if you'd gone true to size, it would be quite hard to do that. The quality is just gorgeous. I really love the shape and they tick this trend box perfectly. Now, when something feels a little bit extreme or exaggerated, like baggy jeans can often feel, I then like dressing it down with really simple pieces like a vest top or a t-shirt, maybe flip-flops or sandals. It instantly just makes the whole outfit feel much more chilled and hugely wearable at the same time. I do feel like sharp shoulders is one fashion trend that's been around for a few years, albeit with different names each season. The year before last, it was all about a bit of puff sleeve action. Last summer, we went shoulder pad-tastic, and the fashion trends this season are a little bit of both. So however you want to rock this particular trend, I think would tick the box. It's just nice to have some variation of it in your own wardrobe. Now, I actually forgot that I had this t-shirt, so it was a happy surprise when I found an extra box of summer clothes in the attic. It's still one of their bestseller items actually so I shall link it in the description box below if you like it too. Sharp shoulders indeed but I love the fact that although the shoulder pads are quite extreme the contrast of that with it having been made in a cotton in a kind of t-shirt vibe I think brings it back into the realm of everyday for me. I also particularly love this fashion trend as I think it really helps to give your body more shape. It fools the eye into thinking I have more of an hourglass shape than I actually have, which I really like for certain outfit ideas. So if you're wanting to introduce this fashion trend to this season, do take a look for more casual looking fabrics. Certainly when the shapes are a little bit more over the top, it helps make the overall look feel more casual and subtle for everyday chic. The white on white fashion trend was seen by the likes of Valentino, Chloe, and The Row. And while I have been introducing the trend into my everyday wardrobe, I must admit that I do sometimes find it easier to deviate slightly and do a bit of beige on beige instead. I just seem to have more of that shade in my wardrobe and I'm not particularly worried if it's not exactly bright white. The overall effect is still the same. I actually really love these outfits with a whole mixture of different beige and white tones. I'd actually add even more into the mix if I didn't think I would boil in the heat. So in this first look, I've gone for a little linen with my blazer. If you don't have a suit in your own wardrobe, don't worry. Just follow that theme or variations of that lighter shade all blended together. It's one of my favorite looks. In this second outfit idea, I've opted for another pair of white jeans, which are new in my wardrobe. These ones are a little bit straighter, a bit more of a regular fit. I've gone with a camisole underneath, assuming it's a little bit warmer outside, and then another shade of white with my linen blazer. Now, obviously none of the whites are an exact match match. But altogether, it feels on trend but wearable, which is the desired effect of this video. Don't forget to let me know your favourite outfit idea that I'm sharing today as we go along in the comments section below. Are you going to go all out on a particular fashion trend or will you be adding subtle nods instead like me? I love having a good old chit chat with you all in the comments section below, so do get in touch and let me know what you think.
One of the biggest fashion trends this 2022 is of course the oversized blazer. And I know this trend divides opinions, so I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments section below. Now I've heard some people saying that they can't wait for this sloppy oversized trend to go away and others like me are huge fans. We saw it on the catwalk from the likes of Saint Laurent, Miu Miu and Altazara to name but a few and the high street is now well and truly full of affordable options. But whether you're in the love or the hate camp I honestly think there is a way for all body shapes and all budgets to really rock this trend. It's just about finding the right one for you. And to really illustrate this point, I've got a couple of different outfit ideas to share. Firstly, my favorite gray blazer that I bought this year that sold out so quickly, I've got my fingers crossed that it comes back in stock really soon. Now, this is probably my most oversized blazer that I have in my wardrobe, and I absolutely love it. I went true to size as the cut has been made oversized already, so there's no need to size up. And I think whether you style it with jeans or maybe go suited, or over a minimalist dress, it ticks that box perfectly. Now, if my last blazer was too exaggerated for you, you could opt for something like this instead. The tailoring is softer and more subtle, and having been made from a blend of linen, it's giving the look more of a summery vibe, which I like. I also really love that shade in spring summer too, and I do find it one of the easiest shades to mix and match in my wardrobe of neutrals. If you're wanting to make this outfit more tonal, they also have a pair of shorts to match, which would make a really nice look once the weather heats up a bit. The third option I wanted to share is a blazer I wear a lot, so you've probably seen it before on my channel, but it perfectly explains how you can do the oversized trend while still feeling very elegant and polished. It by no means has to feel too slouchy or sloppy. Not only do they give it a bit of a chic Parisian vibe, but they also help me to feel a bit more elevated and sophisticated. So I guess it depends what you're doing and how dressed up or how dressed down you want to feel on any given day. But I wouldn't discount this trend until you've tried at least 10 oversized blazers on. I really think there is a perfect one for you out there. It's just a matter of finding it. The cutout trend is still going strong for another season, thanks in part to the most stunning Jacquemus collections. They always do the best shows, don't they? I love the locations they choose. It's very simple, but really effective. But while I admired this look back in January when I released my big trend video, I wasn't so sure that I would be taking part. I personally just couldn't see a way that I could make this work in a really wearable, everyday fashion. That was until I found this beauty of a dress, which coincidentally is also ticking the white maxi dress trend at the same time. Now the reason I think I like this dress so much is that although it is particularly on trend this season with the cutouts, they're still really subtle. I'm not exactly exposing any of my wobbly bits, which I would feel very uncomfortable doing. And on top of that, the detail is so small that come five seasons time when cutouts are long gone, this trend is just going to look like a pretty summer dress. After nearly two years of being locked in our houses, I do have that feeling of trying to get the most out of all my pieces of clothing. So if you have something you love and it makes you feel really nice when you wear it, grab it out of the wardrobe and start playing with the styling. I'm sure there's so many more ways you could wear it for all different occasions that you might not have first thought of. Now, one of the easiest and most wearable fashion trends for 2022 that we talked about in my last video would of course be stripes in every possible combination, be it skinny stripes in blue, bold horizontal stripes in red, or even block stripes in the color of the season, periwinkle. Such a fab color name, I love that. When I buy pieces for my own wardrobe, however, I always try and ask myself, will I be wearing it in five years time? And I probably wouldn't wear periwinkle next year, let alone in five. So I've been playing it safe with navy the most. Here you can see I'm actually doing stripes on stripes with one of my favorite Breton tops and just adding a cotton stripe jumper over my shoulders. I've got stripes galore. It's on trend but wearable, but it's also not so super trendy that I can't see myself wearing it in five years time. Now, if you want to take this fashion trend a step further, I found a really cool selection of dresses and some tops, both from the high street and with some of the designers. I've linked some of my favorites in the description box below. Just bear in mind that whatever you do end up buying, 
Think to yourself, will it transition well for next summer when stripes might not be so on trend? Now you could easily tie in two trends at once with this and pair your stripes with low slung or maybe baggy jeans, which makes for a really easy, casual, but chic everyday look. Your outfits don't have to be extreme and really out there to feel on trend. Just adding little touches here and there can make them feel really up to date. Minimal dresses are all the rage this summer and there's certainly been an array of beautiful options across the high street of late. I like this, I like this, I like this and I like this and that's just what I've spotted this week. Another option for a genuinely wearable wardrobe and also thinking about the pieces that you might already have in your closet is to do some sort of variation of what's on trend. I don't really have a brilliant option on the minimal dress front right now but I do have a very minimal skirt which I absolutely love. Here you can see I've styled it with my equally clean and simple vest top and keeping that summer vibe running through my classic white Birkenstocks to finish. I feel polished and put together but it still feels really casual and effortless which I would say is the key element for this particular trend and most importantly it's introducing this fashion trend in a really easy style for my real life. Don't try too hard, just piece together the most simple items you have in your own wardrobe. A t-shirt and trousers, a skirt and a classic blouse. Add a sprinkle of delicate jewelry if you wish and voila, you're good to go. While the biker jacket was a huge hit on the catwalk for spring summer 2022, it was again going with that pretty oversized shape that we saw with the blazers. Now, as I've said, I love that shape. However, a leather jacket is of course a big investment. I really wouldn't want to spend all that money and then it goes out of fashion in a season or two. So I would either opt for something that's hugely affordable to tick that box, maybe from the likes of H&M, Mango or River Island, or you could do what I did and opt for a different tone of leather jacket instead. Adding this suede one into my spring summer wardrobe is a nod to the trend of course, but the shape is really very timeless. It's just a traditional biker jacket. It will last for donkeys years. Again, it's thinking about ways you could interpret the fashion trends to really make them work for you and your own personal style. Try not to get too hung up on the little things. If you already have a biker jacket and you don't want to invest in another, wear the one that you do have and then style it with something oversized or maybe the mini skirt or the white maxi instead. The reason I love fashion so much is because it's all really, really individual. You are free to interpret what you see on the catwalk however you see fit. And no one should tell you it's right or wrong because there really is no right or wrong. Invest where you want to. Wear what you love and what makes you feel your absolute best when you're wearing it. And most importantly, make sure you've got your shoulders back and your head held high while you're doing it. One column of color is always an easy way to make your outfits feel more polished and elevated. But depending on what pieces you use for the look, it can really feel on trend too. Now you could opt for an oversized blazer, add a cami and a pair of slouchy jeans, all in some variation of blue. Or go with one of my favorite shades of camel, maybe a nice pair of tailored trousers with a simple t-shirt and maybe a biker jacket over the top. There are so many variations, I could probably make a whole video out of it. But today I'm just going to share something that I actually wore the other day for a friend's barbecue. Going full on brown tones with my casual trousers and a simple t-shirt. Now in total, this was actually a really cost-effective outfit, but because it's one column of color, it has that very handy knack of making those pieces look more expensive than they actually were. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, you could opt for this season's super on-trend shade of purple, though that might be slightly harder to source, or just simply take a look at what you have in your wardrobe already and just opt for the shades that you see the most. That's the easiest way to do it. Now we talked in the beginning about those slouchy baggy jeans being one of the big fashion trends for 2022. So I wanted to give you another really wearable way to style this look. Now, like we mentioned before, you don't have to go extreme with your outfit ideas to follow the trends. Sometimes a sprinkle rather than a splash is all you need. I kept my styling very true to my own personal style and I've paired it with a simple top. The sandals are the perfect effortless finishing touch. And this is definitely something that I personally would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes just adding one trend piece into the mix with all your favorite staples 
is all it takes. Don't overwhelm yourself trying to do all the trends all at once in one outfit. Keep it simple, keep it classy, and true to what you really love. And that in turn is often the most effortless look of all. Hopefully this video has proved that there's always a really wearable way to interpret those fashion trends we see on the catwalks for your everyday looks. I personally tend to opt for subtle nods in my outfit ideas, but that doesn't mean that you can't go more extravagant than me if you wish. But however you do decide to follow them this spring summer, I would just advise staying true to your own personal style. It's a bit like dripping in designer clothes. Dripping in fashion trends isn't the way to look stylish. Finding ways to interpret those trends that suit you and flatter your shape and make you feel chic but comfortable is far more more stylish and always stands out for the right reasons. As the saying goes, be you because everybody else is taken. If you have any questions about how to recreate some of this season's fashion trends, please do let me know in the comments section below. I'm always really happy to help if I can. If you did enjoy this video, I would always appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, it would be really lovely if you'd like to. I shall be back on Sunday with lots more outfit inspiration and styling tips. So hopefully you will join me then. Have a lovely week, everyone. I will see you soon.